Whether you're in school, at the office, or at work, and you want to go ahead and take a screenshot, being able to go ahead and do that could be a really simple task, all right? Now, being able to go ahead and take a screenshot and have the correct tools to go ahead and edit that screenshot could be a little hassle if you don't have the correct software, all right? Now, in today's video, I'm going to go ahead and talk about three great screenshot takers that also have great editing tools, all right? Now, before we go ahead and go out and continue, I'm going to go ahead and please ask you to go ahead and subscribe to my channel and show me some love and give me a thumbs up all right and like this video all right so let's go ahead and get started first piece of software that I'm gonna go ahead and talk about today it's called screen rack and I just want to go ahead and let you know that for all of the uh, three softwares that I'm gonna go ahead and talk about today I'm just gonna go over the very very quick and basic features of these all right because otherwise I could probably make about a half hour tutorial on each one of them all right but I'm not gonna go ahead and do that all right? I'm just gonna go ahead and do do a quick overview of the basic basic features that all three of these particular programs have all right so the first one is called screen rec and it's available for Windows Linux and for Mac users it's coming right around the corner okay so as you can see that right there it says screen rec for Mac is coming soon okay and as you can see that right there with the uh, free version they do have a pay version as well but the free version is great all right with the free version you have all of that right there you have all of those features right there you get it's free you also get a free and private cloud as well so let's go ahead and download it all right I, I've already done so so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you really quick all right so that's all you have to do right there click the download button right there it's free and it's just gonna be like a normal install all right and right after you have the software installed this is the way it's gonna look okay you you're gonna have this particular program and you can go ahead and move it around if you want to go ahead and have it right here or right here so whatever works for you alright and as you can see right there with the uh, camera right there it gives you the option to go ahead and take the screenshot right here you can go ahead and start re recording your video you know your desktop so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you really quick if you can you know the way to go ahead and take a screenshot you go ahead and select that and let's go ahead and take a screenshot of this right here it's a nice view right there okay as you can see that I like the fact that it automatically it you know it throws it like into this little window okay and right here you have all the tools you can go ahead and have your text option you have your arrows you can go ahead and put different arrows you can change the color you can go ahead and put these uh, text bubbles right there squares and you can go ahead and change the, uh, the color you can go ahead and make them bigger so you know you do get the point right it's a lot of tools that you can go ahead and have your uh, your screenshots all right and right here if you want to go ahead and just copy to the clipboard let's go ahead and exit out of that you click that that's what you have right there okay and if you wanted to go ahead and record a video you know like your desktop that's all you do is just click that right there and you select the option that you want to go ahead and record all right so and you can go ahead and turn your your webcam and as you can see it's actually recording right now with the free version you can record up to five minutes all right so i'm just gonna go ahead and stop it really quick and play and as you can see it's actually there recording right okay. now with the free all right so that's gonna be the first option as you can see it has a lot of great tools but i don't want to make this video too long all right because otherwise i could probably spend about a half hour with each one of these all right so the first option is called screen rec and i'll go ahead and put the download link on the, on the description all right second option that I'm gonna go ahead and talk about now it's a software called tiny take now to be able to go ahead and use tiny take it's gonna go ahead and ask you for a username a password and an email all right so you do have to go ahead and confirm your email all right now tiny take it's available for Windows and Mac all right as you can see that right there that'll be the download link for them for the uh, Mac users and this one up here for Windows all right I've already installed it so I'm gonna go ahead and just show you really quick the way it looks all right now this is the graphic user interface all right for the software you can go ahead and maximize this as well you can go ahead and minimize it and right here if you kind of put your cursor right over here it gives you all the options okay you can go ahead and capture image from your webcam create a GIF capture video you can go ahead and just create a new image blank and then you can go ahead and start adding your own pictures 
and you do have a lot of great editing tools as well okay so let's just go ahead and capture a nice uh, screenshot okay there you go I'm gonna go ahead and take a screenshot of this right here okay so become friends with your um, screenshots all right <laughs> there we go all right so as you can see right here on the upper part it shows you all the tools okay you can go ahead and draw text you can go ahead and draw text and arrows you can go ahead and add your numbers right here so you can see that right there so that will definitely be a great option if you want to go ahead and make like a nice guide or a tutorial okay for your co-workers or your students or your you know for your colleagues you can go ahead and apply the crop as well you can go ahead and crop the image there you go apply crop so you can see that you do have a lot of options a lot of great tools all right so that's the second option that i wanted to go ahead and talk about all right it's called tiny take and right here you can go you have the option to go ahead and send it via email print it you can go ahead and save it locally you can go ahead and save it online as well so you know that's definitely a great option okay so i'm gonna go ahead and just see this is right after you go ahead and save all your images this is where you have your images or your videos all right you also have the option right here, I wanted to go ahead and show you, to go ahead and share your videos directly into your YouTube account, all right? So it's definitely a great option right there, okay? All right, so that's my second option. It's called Tiny Take, all right? And in my third and final option, I'm going to go ahead and talk about another great piece of software. This particular piece of software is called Pick Pick. And as you can see right over here on the upper right-hand corner, if you go ahead and click that arrow right there, it's gonna go ahead and give you the option to go ahead and put this particular software into a different language all right so you can definitely go ahead and add a different language if you like all right so this particular piece of software is only available for the Windows operating system all right so it's available from Windows 7 Windows 8 Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 all right so that's all you have to do right there is just click that download button and it's gonna go ahead and uh, install really quick you don't need no username or anything all right so i've already installed it so i'm just gonna go ahead and show you really quick the way it looks all right so i know what you're thinking right now you're probably thinking like okay that looks pretty much identical like microsoft were all right and yes it pretty much has the identical user interface as microsoft were all right so right over here on the right hand side it has a lot of tools right here that you can use with your screenshots now right over here on the left hand side you have all of these particular options of taking a screenshot all right you can go ahead and uh, create new blank you can go ahead and open existing screenshots or just images that way you can go ahead and add different effects or you can go ahead and take a full screenshot active window window control you can even take a a screenshot as you're scrolling down all right so that's definitely a great option right there so i'm just gonna go ahead and take a quick screenshot all right so there you go you got a screenshot right there all right so now right over here on the upper part of the program this is pretty much your banner okay this is where you're gonna have access to all the tools okay so in this particular tab on the home tab this is where you have all the options right here you know you can use all of these tools whether you wanted to go ahead and add stamps as you can see that right there you have a lot of stamps right there if you wanted to go ahead and draw you can definitely do so you know you have a lot a lot of options there and if you wanted to go ahead and add some text you can definitely do that as well so that's the um, home tab right there you know it's pretty much your your banner where you have access to all the tools then right over here on the share tab you have the options to be able to go ahead and share your screenshots to all of your social media all right so that's definitely a great option that way you can be able to go ahead and share your work and right here in your in the view option in the um, view tab you also have some more uh, tools all right so this is definitely another great piece of software as well as the other two so I wanted to go ahead and get these three particular pieces of software out there for you so please let me know what you think and that's going to be my time for this one all right please take care out there and peace out